uh, at Google Arts and Culture. Um, it's artsandculture.google.com. And today's artwork um, for today is called The Peppermint Bottle. And it's by an artist named Paul Cezanne. Um, going to Google Arts and Culture is pretty much like going to a museum in itself. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of things. It has all the details of this artwork, um, including its size, uh, more information about it that you can click on. Um, it's on a canvas. We know that it's oil paint on a canvas. And um, it can really, all that information is really important and it tells you a lot about the artwork. Okay. So Paul Cezanne was basically an artist that um, he did a lot of landscape painting, but he also did something. Um, that really led into the modern art movement of today. And he did these still life paintings, okay? And I'm gonna just click there. You can see when I click there, it makes it a little bit bigger, okay? And here's the window up here. And so with still life paintings, um, there are these apples and sometimes you have oranges. Look at the movement of this fabric right here, how this fabric moves. And then also um, this bottle here but look at the look at we can almost see a triangle right here and then he cuts off the fabric right here and he lets us and we have all this whole wall with this stripe right here if you're to think about this almost like it looks like an abstract kind of artwork and it looks pretty um it, it looks pretty realistic you could say you know a lot of kids look at this and like realistic let's go over here and let's use the zoom feature and let's zoom in this is what's really cool because when you're in an art museum, you get to walk up to a painting and look at it. With Google Arts and Culture, you can do the same thing by zooming. They take very, very, and if you look how far we can zoom, we can zoom all into there. Look at overseeing this bottle. Look at that brush stroke right there. Look at these strokes that the artist made. They're they're very Look at, you can see the brushes. You can see a little bit of speck of blue right there. You can see a little bit of red. And in up close, it doesn't look like too much. Let's zoom out again and we can see all those brush strokes make a difference, even the background, okay? There's some really different colors in that background. There's some different lines. We could see all of the information. We can see even where the paint has maybe cracked a little bit over time, look at that little crack right there in the paint. So Paul Cezanne, and it, it wasn't, um, look at that orange right there. It just looks like a, a big yellow orange paint brush stroke with a little bit of green. Look at the green on the side right there. So you can really see individual, when we zoom out, we can see it looks like an orange, but zoomed way in, maybe we don't know that is such an orange it just looks like a bunch of a paint kind of applied to the canvas so um really when we look at this artist we think about those brush strokes we also think about these compositions that he made where things are kind of hanging off the edge they're flattening things out it's not always super 3d um this is just yellow right here and so there's a lot of really interesting color and shapes and dynamics and the way this fabric moves that I think is really interesting. And if you look at a lot of modern artists, which I'm gonna read a book sometime and we're gonna look at modern art, is it's very different. And this kind of artist was starting to play with and experiment, not just what things actually look like in real life, but how to represent them um, through the materials that he was using. So explore with this arts and culture and get online and go find um, Peppermint Bottle by Paul Zazan and look around the painting and point out some stuff and find some stuff that you can see when you zoom into this painting.